Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Taurus. This is going to be for your um, first half of your June from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of June, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored, it specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Energy check-in for Taurus, over energies for Taurus for the first half of their June, from the 1st to 15th for Taurus, for Taurus. So we have the greatest, the great goddess. Seems like you guys are transcending your past here. Yeah, we have transcendence, divinity, and Shakti. Some of you guys are tapping into this higher, to the highest form of the feminine energy here okay and we have the past releasing rebirth and spring okay this is on the bottom of the deck so you guys are transcending your past you guys could be transcending your pain your hurt your traumas here okay so you guys are going through some sort of major release or that you guys are going through some sort of major purification at this time here all right what else do we have here for taurus what else does taurus need to know we have heart chakra unfurling back to love Things are really flowing here for you guys. Like I said, some of you guys could be going through some sort of major purification here where I feel like your heart space is opening up right now if it's blocked, okay? So like I said, you guys could be transcending something from your past. Some of you guys could be transcending, you know, pain, hurt, perhaps even self-sabotage here, okay? What else do we have here for Taurus? We have be an animal. I share my world with animals, which all which have all kinds of strengths here. Some of you guys have strong connection with animals. Some of you guys might have animals yourself here, and they feel like you guys could be using an these animals as a guide, as a compass here, to guide you where you need to be. Uh, perhaps, you know, maybe a cat, you know, provide you with uh, uh, spiritual knowledge and wisdom so that you could transcend what you're whatever you're holding on to uh, that you don't uh, need anymore, uh, that needs to be released here. Okay, I'm just gonna look at this really quickly here. And so I listened as my soul told me to let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown. So I feel like you guys could be awakening to the fact that you guys have grown a lot here, okay? Um, so seems like there's positive changes that are happening in your life here at this time, Taurus. What else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on for the first half of their June, from the 1st to the 15th. For Taurus, for Taurus. For Taurus. Queen of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've come really far here. I do feel like your heart space has been blocked off okay for a while and i feel like you guys have transcended this pain and this hurt here and you know some of you guys could be open to you know uh, you, you guys could be like in a relationship right, right now that could be really 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 successful here okay or that you guys are doing well on your own you guys are abundant on your own here okay you guys are just also going with the flow here some of you guys have a really strong connection with water here okay like i feel like water ceremonies will help you guys you know drinking water from a spring will also be helpful and purifying for you guys so you know I do feel like, you know, there's just some really just major progress that has happened in your life here. Look at the Knight of Wands here and the Ace of Cups. You guys are experiencing kind of like pure joy and pure freedom here in a way. 
Yeah, by letting go of the past and not, not letting the uh, le not letting the past hold you back here. Okay, you know this is difficult for a Taurus because you know some some Taurus have a really hard time letting go of things or letting go of people and holding grudges. Right. So let's see what else we have here. We have the Six of Wands here <laughs> and the Moon, Cancer, Pis uh, Pisces energy. Some of you guys could be overcoming your shadow. Your darkness here. Yeah, I just feel like the you guys are basically transcending your past here. And just seeing how far you have come. Okay? So I feel like for a long time, some of you guys could, could have been working on your shadow side here, doing shadow work. Seems like you guys could be, you know, reaching some sort of personal success here for yourselves. Tell me about the moon. Strong, lots of water here. So like I said, uh, some of you guys could be really invested into water, using it as a healing modality for you guys. Like I feel like some of you guys could worship water, okay? Some of you guys could, you know, find like the purest springs that's in or around you, uh, you know, around where you live. And I feel like you guys could, you know, travel to different springs or, you know, spring water to get spring water and just fetch it and bring it home, you, you know? I mean, I... <laughs> I want to say fetch, but you're collecting water from these springs for, you know, healing purposes, for drinking purposes here too. Because when you drink water from springs here, it's very purifying. It's very pure and clean. It's not like drinking from the tap, you know, where it's kind of like infested with like, you know, different chemicals and stuff like that. All right. We have the Six of Wands here and the Nine of Swords. You guys have overcome a lot, stress and anxiety here and worries. Yeah, you guys are going through some sort of major release, some sort of major purification here. And it has a lot to do with water. If you guys are not tapped into like a source of water, okay, perhaps look it up online. Uh, because there are websites that tell you like which springs are clean drinking water or, you know, springs that are untouched, you know. Uh, so th there's kind of like a registry for that. And you also have to be careful too because a lot of times, you know, politics could get in the way and close down these springs here. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. This is really, you, this is you connecting to the divine here, okay? Or that you guys are transcending whatever you've been holding on to through this divine energy that you're receiving here, which is Shakti, which is, like I said, this is the purest form of the divine feminine energy here. Like I said, some of you guys are going through this, such this major purification here. Some of you guys are stepping into this place, Taurus, where, you know, um, you guys are stepping into this place of just, you know, realizing your life's purpose here, too. Lots of water here. Yeah. Some of you guys are learning a lot about water and the healing purposes of water here. And I feel like this is helping you guys a lot when it comes to your personal growth and your spiritual growth here. Uh, so this is pretty amazing here, uh, Taurus. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.